and it's just like it's just like a cardiac bracelet a duke cardiac bracelet but just let it no, like, stop playing with me. Welcome back to another freaking vlog. Y'all, so I am, I'm not even going to talk about it, okay? I'm not even going to talk about it because I feel like every time I talk about it, then I like opt out. But I'm just going to say a little bit. Um, I just feel like, you know, I'm trying to be responsible and I'm just trying to like um, make healthier decisions when it comes to my life because if y'all don't know i am i am becoming an entrepreneur like i'm building a brand a business and just an overall like just overall being healthy and keeping my mind at ease and just doing things that's going to put me in a creative mindset but i'm not even going to talk too much i'm not even going to talk too much about it but i am going to start working out more i'm about to just get back on my healthy shit or whatever um i did a little workout today i just did with like what i know best and i literally i'm i'm talking to buku right now because um i need to get some sections in with him and y'all don't know who buku is this is buku fitness he, he trains a lot of people from he do he i think he he trained kyra he trained Kyra, he trained Des Dior, like a lot of like, you know, Instagram babies, but me and him been contacting each other for how long? Since 2020, it is now 2022, and it's just about time for me to just actually put my all into working out and like making my body just look a little bit more better. Like I have, I'm not even gonna count, but I have a nice um, body frame. Um, I am gaining weight. But it's not really going to places I want it to go. It's really just going to my stomach and my thighs. But I don't want to lose weight. I just want to gain and maintain and just tone everything up. Get a flatter stomach. Uh, you know, bigger glutes or whatever. He going to work with me. I'm still waiting on him to respond or whatever. But we're going to get that all together. Um, so what I have planned for today. What I have planned for today. I have to do some organizing for my business. Um, I got two wigs that I need to take pictures of before I get these wigs installed. So I have to take like pictures for that. And I have to dye a wig black. And what else I have to do? I have to dye a wig black. I had to take um, pictures for my of my wigs for the website. And then I gotta go to the grocery store and I'm making tacos today, so. And I'm going to work tonight. Because I got stuff to pay for. I got stuff to do. Like, I have stuff to do. What's up, y'all? So, I am back. I had to take me a nap, y'all. I don't know what it was. 
but working out literally it was good like i didn't even really do much but i do have an appointment tomorrow with buku and we're gonna um get a good workout in and i'm just gonna try to i'm going to be consistent with working out whether i'm doing it two to three days a week or more it doesn't matter i am also doing this thing where um i'm doing it now like i use when I'm talking, I don't talk in complete sentences. I use a lot of, oh, let me turn my air conditioner on. Yeah, so when I talk, I use a lot of um, word fillers. I think, ew, what the fuck? When I talk, I use uh, filler words. Filler words are like, um, but, I mean, or like, uh, like, uh, like. I say like a lot, and I basically want to like, cause I'm gonna be, I'm talking to y'all and I want to be able to talk to y'all fluently and talk to y'all as if, you know, I know what I'm talking about. I don't want to be saying, um, and like, and all this other stuff, you know, throughout every word that I say, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to take it upon myself to practice, you know, using less filler words and taking my time and actually talk to y'all because I know I can talk, you know what I'm saying? I'm not... But it's just, you know, using these filler words like like, um, and, and just saying um a lot. I say um and like a lot. If y'all look at my videos, I say those words a lot. So I'm trying to work on not saying those words. But I am, right now, I am making me some tacos. I just made some um chicken tacos. And I made shrimp tacos, which is, um they're really done. I diced up my shrimp and then I shredded my chicken. Yeah, I don't like big meat at all. Then I got my pico de gallo. And then I got my guac. <laughs> and then I'm making my yellow rice right now, which is on the stove. I just made that last. I was supposed to make it first, but I made it last. And then I'm going to fry my tortillas afterwards. But right now, I have to get moving on with my business. So, I have... I have two wigs in here that I need to get some promo pictures on. So I'm going to switch my cameras and I'm going to be vlogging from my phone right quick so I can take pictures on this camera. So I can get some good quality pictures because I have to get, before I dye this hair black, before I put, before I even wash it, I wanted to get the hair in its natural state so that it can go up on my website as is. So y'all won't be tricked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... I'm about to do that right now while my rice is cooking so I can eat. And then, yeah, I'm excited. Y'all, look. It's going to go away, though. This is going to go away. And this is going away. I've been, I've been, you know, taking good care of my skin, drinking my teas, my um, green tea tea. And my nose is looking pretty good, like less bumpy and yucky. And I've been laying low on alcohol. I've been drinking, you know, but the way I was drinking before it was OD. So, I am going to be, I need to, like, see I'm saying like again. I need to practice not drinking alcohol at work because I really don't have to. I just need to build up. That's why, that's another reason why I'm working out and wanting to, you know, be more healthier so I can have that energy to where I don't even have to drink alcohol at work to, you know. I mean, it is, I'm working on y'all. I'm working on myself. I'm working on myself, y'all. Just be patient with me. Okay, so let me take these pictures right quick, and then we're going to. Yeah. Y'all, yeah, I, I hope this is Disney. Alright, y'all, so this is not going as planned. This is why people get professional help. This is why people get professional photos because. See, this one don't look, this don't look so bad. And then I got this. Can y'all see that? Yeah, that. And I got this one just to show like details of it. 
but these not giving. So I'm gonna, okay, so I'm just gonna get what I can get, like the inside of the lace, and then I'm gonna get um like the actual lace. And then I'm gonna put a picture of, I'm gonna put a picture of me with the hair looking like, you know, done, like when it's like plus and stuff, so, and when it's on my head. All right, what's up guys? What's up y'all? So, just got out of my workout and I feel good. I feel so good, but my legs are killing me. And, <clears throat> but what do you expect when you work out with a trainer? So now that I have an idea of like what um, leg workouts, I can be doing, you know, and I was doing like basic workouts. I wasn't doing like extreme workouts. I mean, in the beginning, in the beginning I was because he was trying to work my ass like for real. Do I, can I go this way? Yeah, I can go this way. <clears throat> yeah, he was trying to work my ass. I'm like, baby, I need some time. But um, I'm about to head home. But anyways, y'all yeah, had to go to the house because I had to, um, I have to dye my wig black and then I have to take it to the hairstylist so she can be able to pluck it and stuff before my appointment. And then I'm gonna just check back in with y'all a little bit later. I get my hair done Sunday, which I'm excited for, darling. And I just see 222 two, two right there in front of me. Thank you, spirit. But yeah, let me get to the house. I'm really out of breath and my legs hurt, so I'm gonna just see y'all when I get home, I guess. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh-huh. Corners in the paddock in my piece. A push a P. Cop no hammers for my piece. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at Puff Spot. Jeff for peace. Drop the data, now we plot. Inside the peace. She not a lesbian for peace. She turned lesbian. Push P. Push a P. A capital P, I write the president, count presidents. Push P. Portuguese on her knees, mopping down a P. She let me squeeze, then she leave, cause she keep the P. Private speak, privacy, bitch, I'm pushing P. Purple paint, piece of paint, bitch, I'm pushing P. Push a P. I'm pushing P. Push a P. Push a P. Yeah. Push a P. I'm pushing P. Push a P. Push a P. What's up guys? So I am back. <laughs> I am back. Okay, so welcome back to my channel guys. Um, so I just got a few things that I want to talk about before I get into the rest of this vlog. So as you guys know, I just got my um wig for my hair collection, so Paris hair collection. Um, I just got my wig installed and I love it. So I was to not today was a rough day for me as an entrepreneur. Okay, baby. I've been up since eight o'clock this morning. First of all, I had got off work at four and then I had to come home, take my soul in out, wash my hair and get my hair all prepped. And I got done with that around like eight in the morning, nine in the morning. And then I went to sleep for like two hours, got up, my hair appointment was at one, but I had to get up earlier so that I can like get other stuff done before my appointment, do my makeup and stuff before my appointment. So yeah, my day was just rough as hell. Like I went to Starbucks before my appointment and I was um, damn near running behind just to get my coffee and my coffee wasn't made how I wanted to be made. I was, I was so upset about that. I was so upset about that because it's like I waited 10 minutes over time just so I can have my coffee so I can be energized or whatever. Coffee was made wrong. Get to my appointment. Um, my hair install looks okay, but I just feel like um, the hairstylist did rush on my hair. Like I could have did my hair way better than what he did. And I'm going to just point out what I'm talking about. So one is he used fucking... Um, he used Gorilla Glue for my edges. 
who does that? Strike one. Then I get in the car after my appointment. Like my hair looked it really good, as y'all can tell. Like when I was sitting down, like I really didn't see nothing wrong with my hair until like I got in the car. But the only thing I was mad about in during my appointment is that he used gorilla glue on my edges. Like you don't have to use gorilla glue on edges. Like all you have to do is do some spray and some mousse so the, the edges can be soft. My edges are literally stuck. Like I have to. I don't like my edges like that. I mean that works for other people, but for me, no. So that was strike one. Then I get in the car and I was examining my hair. First of all, my hair wasn't flattering how I wanted it to be. It wasn't bone straight. Like how I begin my hair bone straight. So I gotta do my own hair. And on the side of my hair, like he didn't bleach these knots on over here because I guess he just thought that I was gonna have a middle part and he can kind of fly by, like kind of fly by with him. No, baby, I need all this bleach. Like, he did not bleach this part. This part is cool. Even my part, like, is just too wide. Like, he, it was just certain stuff that I was looking forward to. Like, if I would've did my hair, it would've turned out perfect, so I can't explain. I, I can't complain, really, but as a hairstylist, me paying almost $300 for an install, I expect top tier work, like, period. Then I get, uh, from my hair appointment, I'm upset, I'm calling my mom, I'm calling Leah, la, 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 my hair, blah, blah, blah. Then I ordered some food. Why my food nasty? <laughs> so y'all know what I did. I, me and Leah, we just, we got together. We went to the mall. We did some retail therapy. And I just want to show you guys what I got from the mall. I picked up some, like the mall. Y'all need to go to the malls right now because they having like sales. Like buy one, get something free. Buy one, get one half off. All that type of stuff. So well, I, we went to the mall today. So I'm going to show y'all what I got. Right quick before I start fixing my hair up, because I have to fix my hair. Like, I'm only wearing my hair like this until my photo shoot because I'm gonna take it out and either put my blonde wig on. I still have to get somebody to do my blonde wig. Put my blonde wig on or just reinstall this wig how I want it to be. But I just wanna show you guys what I got from the mall. I shopped at Victoria's Secret. I'm about to put y'all on some tea when it comes to Victoria's Secret, because baby. Stop playing with them. Then I went to Sephora. And then I had bought some other stuff. So I'm about to just show y'all what I bought. All right, quick. The first thing I want to show y'all is jewelry. I got some jewelry, y'all. And I got this. Is, this is from 7C Society. And you know those little um jewelry spots that be in the mall. But this is black owned. Like, this is black owned. And they had, like, crystals and, like, all type of stuff in their, in their shop. So, I... Like, I wasn't even finna buy nothing else. I was done shopping. Like, I was done. I was like, you know what? I'm got this mom, blah, blah, blah. And he stopped us. And then I looked. I'm like, oh, shit. It's something over there that I want. I see something I want. So, I'm about to show y'all what I got. So, I got these two bracelets, y'all. And guess what? Guess how much I spent on these bracelets, first of all. Let me just show y'all. I spent $41. So, I bought one. And I got a discount off of one of them. And he gave me one free. Maybe because I was cute, but he gave me one for free. So I got this um this bracelet right here. So I got this bracelet right here, and this bracelet is basically like um a Cartier um dupe, and it's just so cute. Wait, why isn't it fucking? Thing? It's just so cute, y'all. And it actually lock. It comes with a lock. I mean, the key to lock it, and it's just like it's just like a Cartier bracelet, a dupe. Cardio bracelet and you lock it and it stays locked or whatever. I'm about to put this back on. I had it on. I just took it off so I can show y'all. That's how you tighten it. And you just open it up. And it comes out like this. And then you just put it back together. I'm gonna put that back on. And then I got this one. This one is like it locks as well, but it you don't need a key and then it has roman numerals on it like all around it as y'all can see my camera not really focusing like that but y'all i got these two and I, I love these two so much and i'm about to put these on right before right after i show y'all what else i got i got some shades y'all some dior inspired shades like this is basically like a um, baddie on a budget like you can get stuff that's like almost that looks like designer stuff, but not really designer stuff. So I got these shades from the mall. Like these are from the um, 
the little stands they be in the middle of the mall. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all go to the mall, they be having shade, the shade stands. So I got this pair, and I look how they look at me. Babbage who? Babbage me. Babbage. It goes perfectly with the weed. And I really got these shades. I got I really got these shades because um, for my photo shoot, I got this pair, which I can just wear like on the daily. And then I got the black pair because I'm going to be wearing the black pair during my photo shoot. And these were $30 and I got these for $15. Half. Buy one, get one half off. Look at this, y'all. It's giving Dior. It's giving Dior. Period. Y'all can tell me it's not giving Dior because it's giving Dior. And so the next thing I got from, I got this from Sephora and I got this, this lip sleeping mask. And then it came with two other flavors. Um, I found out about this product on um, TikTok and um, somebody on YouTube had mentioned it too. They said this is one of the best lip balms. And so I just picked it up. It was two for $24. Literally, one of them was $22. If, you, if I would've got one, it would've been $22, but you know, it comes with two and it was only for $20, $24. Period, spending money and then saving money at the same time. Like who doesn't want that? Like who doesn't want that? The last items that I got are from Victoria's Secret, which I'm super excited about because I've been looking for a perfume. Like I haven't been really buying like my expensive perfumes, and actually I ran out of all of them. I just wanted to like start over and just buy like you know start a whole new collection because I had so many dossier perfumes and like old perfumes that I was wearing like from year like a year or two back. So I just wanted to like um, change up my sense or whatever. So I ran out, I'm about to restart it over. But I was in Victoria's Secret, I was looking for some lotion and I got this very sexy Oasis lotion. I literally just used this lotion when I, once I got the shower and it's so, it smells so freaking good. I got the lotion and I also have um, the perfume. The perfume smells so good. Let me open it up actually because I'm about to wear this tonight. So this perfume was $60 and the lotion came for free. The perfume was $60 and then when I tell you it smells so luxurious, it just smells so freaking good. Like if y'all want some really good perfume and y'all don't really want to spend like, um, you know, the luxury perfume. And look how, look how it comes. It comes in this cute little box and it comes like this. Victoria's Secret, baby. Smells so good, too. Smells so good. Look at the bottle. Look at the packaging. Look at the packaging. Let me show y'all. Get y'all a little close up. Look at the package. Don't, don't mind my nails. I gotta get my nails done tomorrow. The packaging. And I'm about to spray it now. And this one, like I said, this one was very sexy, Oasis. Oh my God, this and the lotion together, baby, you're gonna be smelling sexy, sexy, like literally sexy. Like this is so bomb. Like, and Leah got the, um, she got, she has the blue version of this and she has, I think the um, purple version, or I think she got the white version, I'm not sure. But she got two of them and she got two of them for 120, the price you would pay for one small bottle of high-end perfumes and she got two lotions so that is the best deal like, I got the we got the best deals in the mall today like I just can't like I can't if you're in Atlanta Georgia um they have a mall called Cumberland Mall go to the Cumberland Mall baby they got differences and they have a clothing store in there with bomb clothes like, we didn't have time to shop and do all the other stuff because we had stuff somewhere to go so yeah I just wanted to show y'all that I am about to fix my hair up the best way I can and I'm gonna see y'all cause we about to go out before we go to work. Y'all know we'll be going out before we go to work. And then I'll just check back in with y'all tomorrow or once I get to work. So let me get ready and I'll see y'all later. What's up guys? So <laughs> I just got done, finished getting ready and I'm in the car and I just wanted to check in with y'all like so we about to uh i'm about to pick up leah i'm going to go to the bank first and i'm gonna pick up leah i'm trying not to i'm trying to wait a minute because 
this dude they be parking in my spot every time I like he be parking in my spot. I'm like, bro, like chill out. Like I will literally call the office and your shit would be told. Stop parking in my spot. And I feel like he waiting on me to move or get up. I say get up. I mean move from the spot. Cause like baby, when I get off work, I am a female. When I get off work, I will I, I be want to park right by my door so I can get right in the building. Cause I don't be having time for all that, you know, none of that other stuff. So he need to stop parking in my spot. But anyways, we really weren't behind on time cause we gotta still go to work, and I ain't got time to be waiting. So let me just go on and go. I just feel like he waiting on me to move. Nah, he he just locked it up. Stop parking in my spot, bro. Stop parking on that. If his spot, if he in my spot when I get back, I promise you, I'm calling the office. I don't like being no snitch, but don't fucking try me. I'm gonna just see y'all once uh, me and Liz start taking pictures, and once we get to the club, we're gonna have some fun, then we're gonna go to work, even though it's already late. Hopefully, we even make it to work. All right, y'all. So we here. Look at Liz, y'all. She is so cute. Hey. Um, Hey, let's get away. That's what I thought you was going to say. No. Anyways, um, yeah, we're going to take our pictures, so y'all can watch Bye. us. We took some good pictures. What the fuck is this? Why are you watching my... Why are you finding me on TikTok, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> he gets on my nerve. Ew, he go. sound like my Millie too. Girl, just psycho. a psycho crazy. Okay. Well, that ain't my Millie. That ain't my, I said Millie. That ain't my Millie no more, but. Mm -hmm. But anyways, y'all, we just finished, we just finished taking pictures, and we trying to decide if we should just go to work because it's already like one o'clock, and or should we just go to the club with them? Show up, take a little drink, and then go to work. But by the time we get to work, it's gonna be like two, three. It's gonna be probably t yeah, too late. It's 20 minutes. We should just go to work. Yeah, we finna just go to work, y'all. We was gonna go out, we was gonna get some content for y'all, but it's not looking like we need to go. We gotta make some money. Money comes first. Money of hoes. <laughs> What is up, y'all? So it is the next day. As y'all know, me and Lil went to work last night and I have so much tea. I have so much tea to tell y'all because, first of all, I want to just say, like, our night at work didn't go good. Like, we could have just went out and just, you know, enjoyed our time because we spent almost, we spent like $95 to work. And we probably made a little bit over that bag. Like, it wasn't even nothing. So, but yeah, so let me tell y'all what happened. I just want to talk, like, real basic. I'm going to do a whole video on this, but I just want to, like, point out some stuff that actually happened last night. Basically, I basically want to talk about stripper etiquette. Like, if y'all are watching me and y'all are dancers and y'all want to become a dancer, I just need y'all to know that it is... It is recommended to know stripper etiquette. Keep it pee, bro. Like, keep it pee at work. Like, and that's all I be trying to, like, explain. And that's how I move at work. Like, I mean, I'm cool. I'm cordial with people. I don't beef with nobody. I don't have problems with nobody. And I say to myself, I've been standing myself for the the amount of time that I've been dancing. So, and I, I only made a few friends and I know a lot of people, um, but I just, I only made like a couple, a few friends within the time that I been dancing or whatever. But I just wanted to say like, okay, so let me just tell y'all what happened last night, last night. Okay, so as y'all know, me and Leah, we got there real late. We got there at like 1.30 something. We got on the floor at like 1.50 something. Boom, we were sitting down um, y'all know when we when we get there, we like to sit down, we like to drink, and we like to vibe and look at the club for like at least 
however amount of time we want to do that, you know? So we were sitting down at this table and then right in front of us was another group of girl, another, it was a group of niggas and a couple girls over there was dancing. So before they even started dancing, the dude, they was like coming over there to dance with the dudes, but they wasn't dancing already. But the dude was like, um, he was pointing at me and Leo and he was like, what y'all doing? Y'all want to do something? Come over here and dance. And me and Leah, like, we not, we don't be, we be wanting money, but we don't be too pressed. Like, we really try to eliminate arguing with any girl in the club. But the fact that though the girls was already walking up to them to, you know, dance, um, we just took it upon ourselves to, like, see, you know, to just let them, you know, have it. All right? Boom. So, me and Leah was just sitting down. We just, they, soon as he said, come over here and, like, started dancing the girls was already over there trying to get everybody else um attention so but the dude with the money was telling me and Leah to come over there dance but me and Leah were just like dang like they already over there they already finna start dancing boom but and he was uh, throwing money it was literally like uh probably a hundred dollars on the floor as well so but he wanted more girls over there dance so but the girls it was like three girls over there already talking to them and he started and like me and Leah didn't we, we didn't get up to go over there and dance so boom Millie, we just sitting there. They making their money or whatever. He gave him hella ones. He got hella ones. I was like, damn, we should have went over there. Like, we should have went over there. Lil was just like, yeah, but they gon' It was gonna be a little. It was gonna be some problems with them because the girls that was dancing with them, like, they always think like. They be thinking like they run the club, and y'all don't run nothing. But yeah, so they think they run a club. So we really don't be. I don't be want no problems with nobody like at all. I don't care who you is. So. Long story short, the dude that really that originally told me and Lil to come over there to dance, he um he was throwing money in the air or whatever, but he started throwing money on us while we were sitting down. And mind you, I like I wouldn't really okay, so he started throwing money on us while we were sitting down, and I wouldn't have even budged a bit about this money if he wasn't intentionally throwing it in me, throwing it on me on my face. Like the money was like, the money was hitting my face, hitting my head. Like, and you know, I'm just like, what the fuck? So I didn't pick up the money right away, but I knew that he was throwing that money on me. All of them knew that he was throwing that money, not just on me, but me and Leah. And it was another girl over there too that he was throwing money on. So it was like three of us. He was just throwing money. He was enjoying himself. Like it. When it shouldn't be no problems about no money, like no dollars on the floor. So, okay, boom. That was the first time he threw some money. The first time, you know, I didn't pick it. I didn't pick my money up right away. But the other girl that was beside me, she was like, um, I'm about to scoot um, my money up because he's, he, like, he threw money on us. Like, this wasn't like just us sitting down and money was just flying in the air. This man literally threw money on us intentionally. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm dressed. And I'm sitting down. It doesn't matter if I'm dancing, standing up, one leg in the air, um, bending over at the table. I don't care what I'm doing. If I'm at throw some money on me, intentionally, I'm going to pick it up. That's my shit. I don't care. I'm working. I'm working just like y'all working. Boom. So the the girl that was next to me, she scooped her scooped her little. It was it wasn't even nothing. It was nothing. So she scooped her, her little money over, and she was like. Uh, I'm just gonna scoot this over, y'all scoot that up. So we, me and her, and we just started, me and her started like scooting the little bit of money that he threw that first time. And so the two girls that be thinking they run shit, um, came literally from, they was on the other side of the table. They came from all the way on the other side to the back side of the table to scoot the money that was right, you know, in front of us, which we want to go, we wasn't really going to be, we wasn't really trying to like scoot majority of the money anyway. We were just skin, scooting the little money that was literally under our feet. Literally. Like we, we was going to literally just let them have all that anyway, because they was already making their money over there. They're just stripper etiquette. If you was smart enough, if you was play, if you was pee enough, you would know that like money, it ain't nothing, but you can't be counting every dollar on the floor. It doesn't matter. Okay, so boom. Okay, so me, we did that, and I was scoop my money up. So one of the girls, she, she came all the way. Like I said, she came all the way from the other side of the table to right, literally under my foot, and started scooting the money from under my foot. 
I scoot the money right back. Girl, she scoot the money again. So I said, stop playing with me. And I scooped my money back and she went back on the other side. And so the other girl was on the other side of the um table. And she was scooting money up over there. But Lil was like scooting the money like over too. But we wasn't really trying to make it a big deal. We was just literally like, damn, like y'all gonna come up here and scoop money from up under our feet? Like, no. He threw money on us and y'all saw that. I don't give a fuck. We was sitting down, one leg up in the air, standing up. It doesn't matter what we was doing. He, he threw money on top of our head in my face directly trying to get my attention. Yes, I'm going to keep that, especially if I'm dressed. So anyways... We stood right there another go round. The nigga already like looking at them like, what are y'all doing? Like just y'all school money up like fucking he was looking at them weird anyway. So a couple songs later, he did the same thing again. And this time he threw more because he like like we didn't really want no problem. Y'all really came over there. Y'all seen him throw money on us, but y'all wanna act petty, thinking y'all run stuff when y'all really don't. And came over there and um, he threw more money on us and he threw a little bit more this time. And you know what I did? I scooped all that shit up this time because at the end of the day, I'm not trying to take y'all money. I'm sitting down. Like the fact that I can sit down and make me look a little bad, I can do that just like how y'all do it. Because if it was the other way around, them they would have been like, because I know how they are. They would have been like, throw some more money, throw some more money. If, if y'all was in our situation, y'all would have been like, throw some more money, throw some more money. Y'all probably went over there and started dancing. But no, me and Leo don't move like that. We stood there and they threw money on us. We stood there and they threw money on us. That was it. And we can do that. So, so after that, um, after he threw that money or whatever, he threw, like I said, he threw some more money. And then we scooped that up. And everybody was just like, y'all ain't in no wrong. Like, he throwing money literally in y'all face. Like, the money was hitting my face, the back of my head, hitting Leah's head. Like, he was intentionally giving us money. So, yeah, we're going to scoop it up. But if it was just him just throwing it in the air freely and it was coming over there, then, yeah, like, that's y'all shit. We would have scooped y'all money over. Simple as that. You think I want to be picking up money off the floor any fucking way that's not mine no that's not the type of bitch that that's not the type of female that i am that's not the type of person that leah is either we're not pressed about no money especially no dollars that's falling on the floor that could be anybody's i don't know i just wanted to come over here and tell y'all like sometimes y'all gonna have to get out of character with these with these females at work and y'all don't have to do the most but just let a bitch know like stop playing with me let them know stop playing with you because if you don't then they're gonna keep playing with you like as far as the girls i just feel like baby if if anything you don't make it seem like it's a problem with no freaking dollars in front of the niggas he is having a good time he is throwing money he threw money on all the stages he throwing money on me i'm not even dancing he throwing money on other girls they're not even dancing and you think you finna get every dollar that fly right here because you dancing for him and his friends? No, you need to mind your pal. Shawty, mind your pal. Like, this man is having fun. Y'all scooping up money, making it look weird. Like, niggas hate that. Niggas do not like that, especially niggas that throwing money. Niggas that's really trying to have fun and throw money. The fact that girls, he throw, every time he throws some money, y'all moving, y'all stop dancing just to scoop money up. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Calm down. Like, if, if y'all ever in that situation, yes, get y'all money when the time is right. But don't every time a nigga throw some money in the air, y'all scooping, y'all on y'all knees scooping it up. Don't do that. That is not cute. That is not cute. Enjoy. Let that man enjoy his dances and his time while he there. I would never do no shit like that. Like, I don't care. Unless, now, unless it's like a girl dancing for a nigga over here, right? And he throwing money, boom, 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 boom. And the nigga that I'm dancing for, we over here. We we not that close, but we close. Nigga, when money flying in the air, that shit be flying. So if it's two pals and two niggas throwing two separate monies, and then it's like a line right here that, you know, that needs to be split between those groups, then at the right time, do that. But y'all count, y'all, every time a nigga throws some money, y'all count every dollar that hit whoever side. That is embarrassing. 
I'm not even gonna cap. That's that is so embarrassing. I don't even like moving like that because it's embarrassing. Like niggas don't want to see that. They just want to have a good time instead of y'all dancing the whole time. Y'all scooping up money. It's just weird. It's just weird, y'all. But I'm gonna make a whole video on stripper etiquette because I just feel like it is needed. Baby, because I, I think I move. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm the best dancer at work because I ain't going to lie. Like, I've been dancing for five years. I'm probably one of the late, one the top laziest. <laughs> I'm not even going to cap. But I know how to move in a strip club. Like, I know how to make my money still at the end of the day. Clearly, I do because I, I'm uh, maintaining and doing the things that I do because I know how to move in a strip club. So, yeah, I'm going to make a video on that. I'm going to write up some notes, some key points and all that. And I'm just going to make a whole video. And I'm going to share my info with y'all. And I'm going to have Leah do the same thing. And I might have another stripper just so we can, uh, like, another stripper that me and Leah don't even hang out with. Just so we can um, talk about this because it needs to be talked about. Period. So, I just want to address that with y'all. Like, a little altercation at work. I mean, it wasn't really going to be no fight. but And I just know from here on out, those girls going to probably be thinking they bullying Y'all not, if, I don't know if they, I don't even know if they even watch this, but if they do, save it. Because y'all don't, I don't get bullied. <laughs> I'm not, I don't get bullied and I don't, I don't, I don't even play like that. Like, I don't even play with me like that. I don't play like that. But I wanted to share with y'all because it is informative information. And I do want to do this video on stripper etiquette. Because it's, I feel like it's so important. And I know a lot of y'all are wanting to become a dancer and some of y'all are dancing because I have met a few of y'all um and y'all be and I met y'all in some clubs or whatever so I just know y'all dance and I know y'all watch me so I do want to do a video on stripper etiquette for people that don't know what to expect fully and who's new and who's trying to do this shit it's a lot you have to have a certain type of mindset you can't just be going in there thinking whatever no you need to keep it pee, keep it player, and move a certain way when you're in a strip club, and it's just period. What's up, guys? So, I wanted to uh, film a little bit earlier. I can't even film right now because of music, but. Push your pee. I mean, my photo shoot. Yeah, push your pee. Turn me up. Yeah, come for the direction. Turn me up, pee. Uh, I'm doing my hair right now. Corners in the paddock, get my peace. A push a piece. Uh, cop no hair, i for my peace. We don't want no peace. Got a spot in the spot. Just a piece. Drop the dot and never fly. Oh, 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 so cute. She not a man, but no peace. She turned a man. Capital P, I write the president, count presidents. Push your pee. Portuguese on her knees, mopping down a pee. She let me squeeze, then she leave, cause she keep the pee. Private speak, privacy, bitch, I'm pushing pee. Purple paint, piece of paint, bitch, I'm pushing pee. Push your pee. I'm pushing pee. Push your pee. Push your pee. Yeah. Push your pee. I'm pushing pee. Push your pee.